2018 Toyota Yaris review. Pros Only hybrid super mini for sale. Practical, spacious interior. Striking design, particularly by tone. High equipment levels. Cons Noisy engines at high revs. Steering wheel lax adjustment. Infotainment screen glare. Top spec models expensive. This would be the third generation Toyota Yaris hatchback, a five door super money competing at a most fiercely fought segments resistant to the likes on the ever popular Ford Fiesta, Vauxhall Casa, and VW Polo, and also the Skoda Fabia, Hyundai i20. Kia Rio and Nissan Micra. Key elements with the Yaris' charm are its practical interior, good reputation for reliability, along with the easy of fuse and urban efficiency on a petrol electric hybrid powertrain. Watch, how to push a Toyota hybrid. The Toyota is exclusive in this segment and offering a real system, as being the Honda Jazz is not really available to be a hybrid. Facelifted boosts Yeri's curb appeal with two significant facelifts within six numerous years of its original launch in Britain. The Yeri's must run share close in relation to its physical makeovers. Revisions in 2014 dedicated to transforming the lead engine styling. As you move, the 2017 modifications are particularly obvious for the rear, where horizontal tail lamps are bisected with the hatch with a lot more tweaks meant to the front that carry it into line with all the smaller Toyota Go. In total, Toyota delivers some 900 fresh elements to the Yaris, although without them being highlighted in high vis yellow, you'd be hard pressed to recognize them. The interior's already been titivated by incorporating new color schemes plus an improved multimedia system. Nonetheless it still trails many of its more sophisticated rivals in addition to their more responsive touchscreen infotainment systems. It's also worth noting what ceased to be presented post-2017's facelift, gone would be the DCL engine variants along while using three-door body style. Sensibly Toyota is consolidating its efforts for the petrol and hybrid engine five doors that sell better. Excellent Yaris safety systems The Toyota Yaris is one of the safest cars rolling around in its class due to every model coming with driver, passenger, side, curtain and driver's knee airbags to supply a total of seven. Toyota's electronic stability control system also keeps it about the right track even during slippery conditions. Anti-lock brakes be employed in conjunction with emergency brake help apply full pressure about the brakes in critical conditions, while brake force distribution assures the stopping power is shipped to where it could best be familiar with slow the Yaris as fast and effectively as you possibly can. Optional from 2015 and standard on the 2017 facelift is Toyota Safety Sense Package, bundling together automatic high beam headlights traffic sign recognition, lane departure warning and also a collision prevention system with autonomous emergency braking. Petrol powered Yaris has urban centric performance the model range is clearly biased towards sense and sensibility in lieu of fun. However, there's additionally a Gazoo Racing inspired, that's Toyota's motorsport division. Yaris GRMN would a 212 horsepower supercharged 1.8 liter engine stuffed like a sore thumb. With no D4D diesels inside the lineup pursuing the 2017 revisions, it's either petrol or hybrid, all geared up for efficiency in urban environs as an alternative to driving spirit on more open roads. With 69 horsepower, the three-cylinder 1.0-liter VT may be the slowest with the trio that has a leisurely 062 miles per hour duration of 15.3 seconds. Making a much better fist of things may be the 1.5-liter VT, replacing small 1.33-liter unit from 2017. That said, 
its 111 horsepower and 136 newton meters of torque still can't receive the Toyota to dip beneath the 10 second 062 miles per hour threshold. Most interesting, but only serving those that drive primarily in towns well, maybe the 1.5 liter VT hybrid, which over 40% of Yeri's buyers choose. It comes paired using the CVT automatic gearbox that's optional within the petrol any 1.5. Efficiency is king here, so spec the Yeris with smaller wheels with the official claims of 85.6 mg and CO2 emissions of just 75 gkm. The verdict the Toyota Yeris is one on the most practical super minis available for sale, despite its compact dimensions. The mainstream models will not be the most exciting drive an automobile, though the Yeris is one on the easiest to maneuver, and it's unique in offering a hybrid powertrain within this segment. The interior trails its rivals though, however its 2017 facelift has ensured nevertheless looks fresh among numerous talented new rivals. Review with the Toyota Yeris to ascertain if it should be with your shopping list. 1.5 liter petrol and noticeable difference over older 1.33 hybrid is well suited to urban driving GRM and is certainly a hot hatch indeed engines open to Toyota Yaris buyers come within the form of petrol and hybrid options the diesel engines were discontinued if your car was updated in 2017 petrol engine range kicking away from the petrol range can be a 1.0 liter VT3 cylinder unit producing 69 horsepower and 95 newton meters of torque. Like all Yeri's engines, it's not turbocharged, and it'll complete the 062 miles per hour sprint in a very leisurely 15.3 seconds. It'll continue to reach 96 miles per hour on the top end, but it really is highly unlikely you'll receive the chance to make this happen. Best remain in town when you go for this Yeri's. The proven fact that the little 3-cylinder 1.0-liter engine thrums away by using these enthusiasm causes it to become so engaging to rev you almost forget the length of time it's taking to propel you at a standstill to 62 miles per hour, or, indeed, the amount of damage you're doing for the quoted consumption and emissions figures inside process. All of which definitely makes the unit perfect to a predominantly urban environment. Livelier 1.5 liter petrol most immediately appealing proposition for all those not Awachi happy with hybrid driving styles, and, shunning the CVT automatic transmission towards an acceptable 6 speed manual change, maybe the fresh for 2017 1.5 liter VT. It certainly feels the liveliest throughout performance terms. It'll complete the dash from 062 miles per hour in 11.0 seconds and 6 speed manual form 11.2 seconds should you opt for that CVT automatic, as a result of a considerably more useful 111 horsepower and 136 newton meters of torque. Both of these versions will reach 108 miles per hour at top speed. Sophisticated it might be in switching between different combustion cycles. Auto and Atkinson when you're of your mechanical mind, within the interests of optimizing both economy and satisfaction it consumes 10% less fuel as opposed to 1.33 liter unit it replaces, while being nearly another faster 062 miles per hour, nevertheless it is, however, vocal in case you go chasing performance, but not a very pleasing sound to start. It's raucous and never very smooth sounding. On the motorway you'll have fun here for its 6-speed manual gearbox to hold the revs low and noise down, but there's no getting away through the fact you'll intend to make good using it should you're planning an overtaking maneuver, or perhaps just and keep up with traffic varying in speeds. There isn't a stop-start system provided with either in the conventional engines, reinforcing our view that, as soon as the car leaves the showroom, these systems jobs invariably just dropping CO2 with a notch or two for taxation purposes are Al Watchy done.
range topping 1.8 liter GRM and the hottest Yaris variant is rather unusual inside the small car segment because it's powered with a relatively large 1.8 liter engine, boosted by way of a supercharger as an alternative to a turbo. In practical terms this means you recover throttle response and also a much more linear power delivery than small engines of their rivals. There's none in the low rev lag and sudden acceleration of an turbocharged motor. Instead, power builds and builds over an appreciably wide band, dealing with extra verve from about 3000 revolutions per minute. Peak torque of 249 Nm comes in at 5000 revolutions per minute and you have to stretch the engine in order to 6, 800 revolutions per minute to unlock its 212 horsepower. Sprinting from 06 to miles per hour takes 6.3 seconds, undoubtedly slowed from the need to shift from second to third gear. The manual box is workable but doesn't feel particularly slick, which is usually a shame. Given the Yaris's diminutive size and high power output, the GRMN pulls very, very hard throughout the rev range, you don't have to drop a gear anytime you want a burst of acceleration. That means you may work the fine chassis quite hard indeed, something will expand upon from the handling section. Popular, and unique, hybrid Toyota has lavished probably the most attention about the 1.5T hybrid variant, but a painstaking have a look at further noise reduction measures can be better received were it not for just a perceived absence of sound insulation along with the fact which the powered rain still constitutes a fair old bonanza of things in the event you get about the power so that you can elicit some real progress. Watch, how to operate a vehicle a Toyota hybrid under the bonnet is really a petrol engine mated to an electric motor, producing 100 horsepower and 111 newton meters of torque. It's driven through a CVT gearbox and should be from 062 miles per hour in 11.8 seconds, sitting relating to the two regular petrol variants in comparison to its performance. I can successive generations of Toyota's hybrid technology have targeted a more in-depth synergy from Horizon engine revolutions and vehicle acceleration, even so the truth will be the revs still yell off about the dial plenty faster as opposed to speedometer can get caught up. Either you'll mind this and drive increasingly cautiously in order to prevent the din, or you do simply accept it as a part from the hybrid driving experience. And that's an experience which can be largely very pleasing, while you are not in a very hurry. Acceleration figures aren't great, and feel even slower than you are on paper should you try for making appropriately quiet progress. Do chill out, though and many types of is rather smooth and pleasant. Until, that may be, you are considering braking. Truth is, however carefully you are trying and modulate your use with the soft feeling pedal, the regeneration system shackled brakes are inclined to become unpleasantly grabby ahead of the car comes to your standstill. Lifting off of the brake pedal because the car comes with a stop from the manner of your well attached chauffeur will alleviate this issue into a point, but does call for a fearsome level of concentration on becoming from the rest in the hybrid driving ambience. Toyota adjusted to great lengths to emphasize how long you spend driving a hybrid together with the petrol engine deterred entirely and it is now deploying something known as the DriveCo box to help you retailers demonstrate the hybrid system's benefits under actual driving conditions. It seems the careful might discover themselves under power only for some 55% of the journey time, as well as for about 37% from the total distance covered. Light as well as simple to drive standard car won't say keen drivers GRMN is undoubtedly an absolute riot reinforcing its dedication to all things future proof. Toyota's 2017 dynamic tweaks towards the Yaris range have largely been reserved for that hybrid model. It gains advantage from overhauls to leading assembly, suspension setup, power steering, drive shafts and engine mountings inside quest for improved handing ride quality and refinement. In truth, 
it's tricky to gauge the difference between your brother DuPont steering on the hybrid model knowing that carried over inside the two conventionally powered variants. Suffice it say, though, how the helm is perfectly accurate, and pleasingly light for low speed maneuvering and parking duties. As speeds build, however, the quality of communication it provides the driver want. Keener pilots could consider looking elsewhere. Traction levels, too, seem respectable, and the entire body control through corners is acceptable as opposed to admirable. Lob in the manual gear change this is not the slickest inside the segment and, though all functions good enough, it's not a car which promises greater engagement or entertainment greater you press it inside manner of an Ford Fiesta. GRMN model occurs the heat given the year is design majors on comfort and requirement you won't a bit surprised to hear how the GRMN model has already established to undergo some substantial modification to do the way it does. As well as significant additional bracing to stiffen the chassis, the GRMN features top of the range sacks shock absorbers to guarantee maximum grip of all four wheels, without making the ride unacceptably firm. The whole car sits 24 mm less than a standard one and even though that helps combat body roll, that is still a good tall hatchback and thus you still have to regulate a bit more lateral movement than inside a more tied down rival as being a Peugeot 208 Forged 17 inch alloy wheels limit the amount of weight at intervals of corner, and sit over huge four piston brake calipers effective at hauling the Yaris up in an alarming rate. Most noticeable, however, may be the Torsen Limited Slip Differential, which meets out power between leading wheels, especially when cornering hard. Put simply this mechanism allows leading tires to bite into a turn where an unequipped rival would lose traction and plow straight on. It's a wonderful thing drive an automobile, the GRMN, with bags of character along with a responsive chassis that feels alive towards the driver's inputs. Surprisingly, it's also quite forgiving, offering up an awful lot of grip when you are getting a corner right, and many chances to take care of your line if you don't. Clear and logically presented dashboard multimedia screen is suffering from reflections no Android Auto or Apple CarPlay integration the adoption of a range of two-tone interior finishes courtesy from the design by tone models comes with a welcome lift with an interior that though well made and despite flashes of chrome and piano black, comes across as somewhat yawn inducing. Build quality is definitely not an issue, as well as the instrumentation and switch gear layout is mostly very good. We say generally, as the central multimedia touchscreen includes a real trouble with glare, especially on bright days. It either requires a cowl or re-angling to ensure it's better to watch. It also is like it's closer to your passenger compared to driver, which may cause problems if you want to function it quickly for the move. Navigation instruction itself is also somewhat slow, on every variant we tested the location about the map would have been a little behind reality, and also the nice lady was often calling turns after wed past them. The affordability premise of Toyota's Touch 2 multimedia technique is entirely laudable. Nevertheless the system itself is usually a little let down by the low refresh rate, and from the absence of swankier smartphone integration as offered with the likes of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Yeah, rises from 2017 onwards benefit from your redesigned instrument binnacle having a 4.2 inch screen between main couple of dials offering an array of menus to scroll through presenting a range of data about precisely how the Toyota is performing. It's clear and simple to watch, and provides the Yaris a more contemporary feel. There are a handful of quirks, though. A few controls are situated down within the right through the driver's shin. If you wish to switch something off, such as being the lane departure warning, you ought to know whereby you are meant to be pressing should you don't would like to take your eyes from the road for too long. 
GRMN model gains a couple of highlights the cabin on the range topping hot hatch isn't radically different but there are some key improvements, namely the sporty wheel from your GT86 coupe. Not only are these claims round rivals by and large feature lumpy flat bottomed versions it's also purposefully small in diameter and grippy to keep on to. The dials can also be grim in spec and search very sharp, too. Lack of wheel adjustment restricts comfort too much mechanical noise inside the cabin ride comfort is okay, but doesn't set benchmark hampering the Toyota Yaris's driving position, and thus impinging on comfort. Maybe the rather limited reach adjustment for the steering. This does signify one has to stay upright to secure a good grip within the wheel. A pity, because otherwise the seats on some Yaris models are impressively comfortable. Sitting within the back there's sufficient leg room and many headroom in spite of the stepped, stadium style raised rear seat base level. What helps here is really a completely flat floor over the back, so a passenger inside the middle seat won't have to take a seat with their knees around their ears. The management of noise entering the cabin is, however, less successful versus the Yaris's packaging. Weight saving is entirely laudable, and not, surely, in the expense of cabin quietness particularly within a hybrid where a great deal attention is paid to reducing mechanical din. The overall impression is that a great deal more sound insulation in a variety of cars which can be all admirably light away might cease a bad thing. Engine noise penetrating the cabin verges for the excessive at high revs both in the conventional 1.5 liter as well as the hybrid. Wind noise levels are high on the door mirrors. In reality the whole door area generally speaking, and anything loose within the road surface clatters into the wheel arches with this kind of racket one suspects there's little insulation inside at all. Ride quality, for the other hand, should satisfy most owners. The Yaris behaves itself respectably inside urban environment, and sleeping policemen are dispatched with a reasonable aplomb. But the body's propensity to fidget does rise at higher speeds, and, as being a motorway cruiser, the Toyota, though not uncomfortably so, never feels as well planted like a Polo or Fiesta. GRMN model surprisingly comfortable while it's a great deal lower and firmer as opposed to standard car you'll notice this most at low speed out partying the GRMN's ride settles upon faster roads. The problem then will be the increase in road noise, the GRMN's motor is pretty buzzy at broadband and we think it might get a bit draining eventually. Six familiar Toyota grades to settle on from design by tone models are specially distinctive high performance GRMN joins range later a revised trim level structure offers either six grades following contemporary Toyota norms, active grade could be the entry level, then icon grade. Thereafter, grade options are split into technology or aesthetic space routes, Icon Tech and Excel representing the first sort, design and design by tone the second. Standard Toyota Yaris hatchback equipment The Yaris range starts with active trim, coming with 15 inch steel wheels, Toyota Safety Sense, autonomous emergency braking. Lane departure warning and automatic high beam electric front windows and door mirrors automatic wipers Bluetooth phone connectivity 6 speaker radio with CD player and USB port Choose a Yaris hybrid in active spec, and you also gain from dual zone climate control and projector headlights. Move up towards the Yaris icon for just a more generous equipment tally. 15 inch alloy wheels front fog lights Toyota touch to touch screen infotainment system with DAB radio air conditioning reversing camera cruise control traffic sign recognition leather leader and gear lever again Yaris hybrid models gain some additional kit including dual zone climate control a leather handbrake lever and keyless ignition next up will be the icon tech which builds on regular icon with Toyota Touch 2 infotainment system with Satan of front parking sensors move up again to design grade, which focuses more about style, 
16-inch machined alloy wheels honeycomb design for top grille rear spoiler different seat fabric privacy glass black side sills for extra curb appeal. The design by tone features, black roof, pillars and door mirrors rear LED lights LED daytime running lights color coded dashboard trim electric rear windows as with all the rest with the range. The design and design by tone can be purchased in hybrid form, benefiting on the same extras since the Icon Hybrid. The Excel sits for the top with the range, together with the following equipment lavished onto it over and over the Yeris Icon, part fabric, part Alcantara their seat upholstery dual zone climate control rear LED lights LED daytime running lights electric rear windows automatic headlights auto dimming rear view mirror height adjustment for your passenger seat chrome side sills optional Toyota Yaris hatchback accessories Toyota doesn't offer lots of options around the Yaris, many of which are bundled into packs. The following packs can be purchased, parking pack, back and front parking sensors protection pack. Scuff plates for your door sills, mud flaps and rear bumper protection style packs, a range of blue, red or green exterior design accents. Carbon style made available. An alternative chrome style pack will also be added, including chrome trim with the exhaust, rear fog light surround plus the side sills. There are several individual options on the market to add to your Yaris, depending within the model you're buying. From Yeri's design models or higher, you may add a panoramic sunroof along with the Toyota Touch 2 Satan of system, while leather seats could be added to top spec Excel cars, as well like a convenience pack which comes with keyless entry and ignition and automatic folding mirrors. Full 5 star rating from Euro and Cap Improved Safety Kit from 2017 Facelift Autonomous Emergency Braking Standard When Crash Tested Because of the Independent Car Safety Experts Euro and Cap, the Toyota Yaris was awarded a 5 star rating. Since then, important things have improved further, not least using the standardization in the Toyota Safety Sense package from your 2017 facelift if your Yaris was reassessed on the end of that year it maintained its 5 star status in spite on the test being more rigorous. This ensures that every car provides you with an active safety suite having a pre-collision system with autonomous emergency braking, lane departure warning, automatic main beam and, on models on top of the active entry level grade. Traffic Sign Assist The pre-collision system relies on a front-mounted laser to check the road ahead, warning the motive force of an imminent collision risk and preparing the brakes to function with maximum efficiency the second the pedal is pressed. If the motive force fails to respond for the warning, the machine will trigger autonomous emergency braking to slow the auto and decrease the severity on the impact. Lane Departure Alert notifies the driving force with visual and audible warnings should the Yaris actually starts to deviate from the lane without activation in the indicators. Traffic Sign Assist recognizes signs for instance speed limits without overtaking restrictions, presenting them around the multifunction display inside driver's instrument binnacle, activating a stern warning light and buzzer when the speed limit is exceeded. Onboard safety has been improved from 2017. Rear seat belts now feature pretensioners and force limiters. The head restraints are actually redesigned to offer better protection against whiplash injury, along with the shape with the curtain airbags has become revised. Child seat installation has already been made easier with adjustments on the IceFix anchoring system. 5-door only from 2017 not essentially the most spacious of super minis adequate storage facilities small cars have small boots, right? Well, they actually but at 286 liters the practicality on the Toyota Yaris is restricted compared that has a number of admittedly larger rivals, most famously the Skoda Fabia and Kia Rio, with 330 and 325 liters of space respectively. Fold the 60 hours 40 minutes split rear seat over, usefully the bottom is virtually flat if you do, plus the capacity expands to 768 liters. Again, it doesn't lead the segment but, 
Again, the Yaris is daintier than a lot of them. What you won't find in the Toyota are any novel storage solutions or especially clever ideas that don't come in rivals. Sure, you find places on your takeaway coffees, door bins for placing belongings in, a sensibly sized glove box and also a handful of dashboard nooks for slotting coins, cards and smartphones. Not that it would have been a gain in practicality as five-door year rises were Al Wachi discounted, but through the 2017 facelift, three-door derivatives were discontinued from sale. The Yaris does work well for passenger space, though. It's taller than most super minis, meaning space from the rear is really quite good. On the long journey there most likely are not enough near room. Nevertheless it's perfectly adequate should you don't mind the upright seats. One on the key points here could be the completely flat floor throughout the rear, meaning a rear seat passenger won't their very own knees up around their head. The Yaris isn't a large car. In fact, it's probably one in the shorter Super Minis currently discounted, as most of that new arrivals have become in size in all directions. Plus, with fairly flat sides and a lot of glass, it's super easy to maneuver in tight parking spaces, with good visibility all round. That means you shouldn't struggle whether you're from the supermarket car parking or squeezing it into your garage. Those large mirrors that create an amazing bit of road noise assistance with visibility too, as also does the reversing camera on particular models. If you need a super mini using a big boot, you may need to look elsewhere, for the reason that Yaris's load area isn't essentially the most generous after you compare it with many of its closest rivals. The Skoda Fabia offers 330 liters, as the Cita Visa trumps by investing in 355 liters. Even the rakish Nissan Micro offers 300 liters of boot space as the 354-liter boot with the Honda Jazz expands to 897 liters together with the seats folded flat. However, space offered through the Yaris is square and usable, as well as the rear seats are super easy to fold in the back in the car. There's just nothing particularly clever concerning the load space, without having false floor with regard to added space or extra pockets dotted about.